guys, it's Nesta. We are on the Palm Jumeirah here at the Raffles Resort, where they have a private villas, just like the one we're about to tour, included as part of the complex. This means that they are fully serviced and you have access to all the amenities as if you were a guest staying here at this magnificent five-star resort. The villa is also for sale, so we'll leave the price and the specs in the bottom corners. Now, without further ado, let's just go take a look inside. start the tour right outside the front of the villa we have a private entrance just for residents you can see here is the entrance to the garage and down that way we can see all the way onto the palm and the palm jumeirah now this resort has five of these villas set out all the way down and you have it on the other side there's, there's 10 villas that are the same in this whole complex now right in front you can see that beautiful landscaping with that royal palm tree above we go through the gate before we head up to the property so you have a walkway down to the back of the property and an entrance directly into the spa now as we look onto here it looks like one of them greek royal palaces the vibes are stunning you have these steps walking up with those pantheon style columns either side leading directly up to this wooden front door with key card access that leads into the foyer. Now this is a, such a grand entrance. You can see with that archway and those intricate carvings. Now this is gold leaf all around this home. As you're gonna see, it is a theme. In the foyer, we have this grand chandelier. Now the chandeliers all have a bit of Swarovski crystals in them. We have this table to the side and this door here that leads into the kitchen. Now the kitchen has that dining table in the center, another one of those chandeliers above with storage all around. You can see those gold trims around those cupboards. We have a gas stove with a convection oven underneath, the fridge is over there with the sink. Now this leads through into the dirty kitchen, the dirty kitchen. So we also have those gold trims all over the cupboards, so much storage, another sink, and obviously the essential Nespresso machine. Now follow me into the great room. This is a stunning in here. It feels so grand. You have three chandeliers that go all the way down the length of the room with those Swarovski crystals, that gold leaf in those intricate designs in that ceiling and the walls. This room feels incredible. Now we have the dining setup here which seats a 10 with the mirror across from it and that cupboard underneath all having those gold trimmings with that huge TV to the back. There is a seating area over there but what we're going to do is we're going to head outside to take a look at the backyard through these sliding doors there's this huge terrace that looks out onto the resort those palm trees are magnificent they're actually royal palm trees now here on this terrace you have some more of those pantheon styled columns dotted around this really does look like a greek palace a small seating here that looks out now as we head down here i want to talk a little bit more about the amenities that this resort has so you have for example a 500 meter long beach with sand that comes from the Maldives. You have restaurants dotted around a jazz club and one of those restaurants is a Japanese style with a three Michelin starred chef. Now from here you have a seating which looks out onto this way. This is the gate which you can enter into the resort. What I love about here is how much of a paradise this feels. Can you hear the sound of those birds? This is awesome. Now we have the steps leading back around the other side. So you have a dual staircase and we'll head back in through this sliding door into the seating area of the great room. Now, I love the combination of red and gold that you've used in this furniture. This is Francesco Molon furniture. This is a high designer, beautifully done. Another TV here in the back. And the tapestry has that San Giorgio wall fabric. It feels so nice and elegant. You have the Loris Zapka curtains. And the final thing in here is this dining setup, which also looks out onto that view. Now head with me into the lobby. Just look how stunning this archway is with those gold trimmings. I love that. 
Now in the lobby, we have these stairs which lead from the basement all the way up to the rooftop. We also have lift access. Now in that corner here is the powder room, but what we're gonna do, we're gonna head into the first guest bedroom. Now you're gonna see a change of theme in here. It has a combination of that blue and white, or it's a platinum theme altogether. We have the bed in the center with that San Giorgio tapestry in the back. Above us, that awesome chandelier. Now what I love are the intricate sort of design on the bed sit at the front, combined with that chair here in the back, with views onto the front of the property. We also have some storage here to the side. Now I love this sort of wainscoting design that I have on the doors. Now they continue that around the house, but you'll see on the entrance to the bathroom door, it's colored in that platinum. Now the ensuite bathroom is a gorgeous. You have that white marble throughout with the single floating vanity and the water closet and the bidet, which is essential for some people. You have the huge bathtub in the back and these mirrors, which open this room up even more. Also a walk-in shower with that huge rain head above. Now let's head back into the lobby. Before we head downstairs into the basement, I wanna talk a little bit about these stairs and this whole lobby in general. With all those gold intricate carvings, this really feels like you're entering into like Buckingham Palace or something. They've used that gold trim on the stairs on the handrails all the way up to the top with a sort of bronze on the side of the stairs. This goes so well. Now, as we head downstairs into the basement, the railing is actually made out of rope, which is in that gold design. At the bottom of the stairs in the basement, where we have the marble floors throughout, the first door here is the service quarters with the nanny's room at the back. This door here leads into the garage where you have your own driver's room, but the pièce de résistance as we're heading into the spa. The first is the powder room with that floating sink above with that mirror and that marble throughout. Through this door here is sort of, it's not the waiting area because this is your own house, right? But this is where you can like relax with your partner or whatever, you have a TV across from you. You have that recess lighting above and those wooden slates either side. It really does feel like a spa in here. You have some seating on this side with a small wet kitchen. You also have access directly from outside through that door. But what you wanted to see down here is that spa area. So there's this long corridor here, which stretches down. You have those chandeliers above. Now the first door here with that sliding pocket door leads into the changing room or vanity room. You have that vanity mirror. The next door leads into the massage room. So on the entry, you have two showers here with those red mosaic tiles and that huge rain head above if you head with me into the massage room. So right on the back wall here, we have some storage. Now, if you remember those wooden panels that we had on the sides of the waiting area, they have those on the cupboards with that sink in the back. We also have some gold mosaic tiles here with the jacuzzi. Now, if we head back out into the corridor, we're heading further towards that spa. So this is a Turkish hammam with that marble slab here where they wash you, scrub you down and wash you afterwards with the steam room here at the back with those mosaic tiles. This is an awesome thing to have in your own home. Now let's head back up those stairs. I wanna show you a couple of those intricate details as we go up. We'll definitely be taking the lift up all the way to the rooftop. I'm already getting tired. Now we have the lobby area upstairs between the three bedrooms. So we have two guest suites and a primary bedroom that is right behind you. You have this door that leads for the stairs to the rooftop, but we're taking that lift. Now the first guest bedroom, as soon as you enter, you have that walk-in wardrobe with that mirror in the back. Now, what I love about this villa is you'll see dotted around, there's these Panama hats, which you can use to protect you from that Dubai sun when you're walking around the resort. Now, the theme of this room is the same as we saw downstairs. You have that blue mixed with that white. You have the tapestry in behind. We're looking at that stunning chandelier above. Now, either side of the bed, you have these mirrors, which opens up the room. But what it also does with this archway window and that Julia balcony, it, it reflects that light into this room, which makes it even brighter. Now at the back here, we have the ensuite bathroom. We have a jewel floating vanity now with that white marble throughout the bathtub in the back with another mirror opening this space up. 
Now our final feature in this room. So we saw that we had two bedrooms this side. These bedrooms are connected by a balcony here, which has a seating area in between. Now from here, you can see a lot more closely those Pantheon style columns and those intricate carvings that they've done into it. Also, obviously you have that stunning view in the back onto the ocean because we are on the end of the palm. So it looks out directly onto the Gulf. Now through this door is the third guest bedroom. So the second guest bedroom on this floor. From here, you also have stunning views onto the sea from here. Now it's a similar theme to what we've saw, so that chandelier above. Now if you look further past that chandelier, around the edges of the ceiling, there's some of those intricate designs in platinum, which matches that platinum headboard there with that San Giorgio tapestry behind. I love saying that word, San Giorgio. Now this leads into the ensuite shower. We have that white marble throughout. I didn't mention the chandeliers that we have in these ensuite bathrooms. They are stunning. Also with those Swarovski, Swarovski crystals. At the back we have that bathtub and a full walk-in shower here with that huge rain head. Now as we head out of the bedroom, we have more of those Panama hats and this door here into the corner, as mirrored was the other room, is the walk-in wardrobe with that mirror in the back. Now let's head into the lobby area here from the upstairs. You can see here that this is the stairs that lead up to the rooftop. We have the lift and this is an electrical cupboard. So don't get confused, this is not another bedroom. Now we're finally in the primary bedroom. You can see the door has that sort of wainscoting trim around the doors. And as we open it, it is stunning. So the bedroom has a combination of themes that we've seen throughout the villa. So in the great room, we saw that red combined with the gold and in the guest bedrooms, there was that blue combined with the white. What they've done here is they've combined the gold and the blue, which I think I prefer a little bit. Here we have this seating area with that awesome chandelier above the TV setup with the tapestry behind it along the walls. Now, right behind me is the desk setup. This is such a fancy table, I'd say, like with the black combined with that gold trim, it looks stunning. Now, also a feature in here is that they have automated blinds, so you can open and close them as you want with just the touch of a button with those stunning views in the back. Now, at the back of the room, we have this awesome bed setup with that Curtain hanging down behind that bed. It looks so grand in here. There's bedside tables either side, some more Panama hats right in that corner, and that door leads into some more storage. Now, the primary bedroom has its own balcony. So this is sliding door opens up straight onto this curved balcony. Now we're right above that first terrace that we saw on the backyard. You can also see that we have those Pantheon style columns dotted around. This is such a great vibe up here. You can hear those birds singing. You're looking out onto the resort. Tell you what, I would love to spend a couple of nights here. This really is the perfect place to chill. Now you can access the ensuite bathroom through this way, but what we're gonna do, we're gonna head back through the bedroom, past the seating, we come into the walk-in closet. They have storage dotted around here with your own safe, obviously. Now this is the ensuite bathroom. Now this bathroom has something super unique in here. I'm gonna try not butcher the word, but this marble is called Rosa Portogallo marble, right? And this is 500 million years old. Now that's mind boggling just to think about that this came from when the ice age was around. Like sometimes I don't have to believe it. I actually had to research it if this is actually true. But you have that marble on the jewel floating vanity all around the walls with that mirror right in behind. You have that gold trim. I love how grand this place feels. This is crazy. You have the water closet here in the back and this hot tub. This is incredible. And finally, you obviously have to have a massive walk-in in here. Now that we've finished the tour in the primary bedroom, we're gonna head up to the rooftop because they have some of the most stunning views in here onto the Palm Jumeirah. Let's go. So we come out the lift onto the rooftop. The sun is setting now, guys, so the vibe is amazing. Right next to the elevator, we have the full walk-in shower here. These stairs down here are the ones that lead up from the first floor, and you have access onto the upstairs pool and the temperature-controlled jacuzzi. 
Now, if you come out here, this is our first view on the rooftop. So we're looking out onto the Gulf, as we saw from the balcony between the two guest bedrooms. You can see it's a little bit choppy, but we were here the other day, we had the jet skis out, the boats, such a vibe. Up here is the seating, so you can host family, friends, as much as you like. If you follow me around this way, this is a stunning view also, looking out onto the Dubai skyline. You can see that's Marina all the way out in the background. You have a view onto the Palm Jumeirah. That blue is such a nice color. Now, either side of that central pool, you have these uh, sun lounges, and right at the tip, there's even more seating, which looks out onto this a sea of royal palm trees in this resort. And the third best view here, which is the Palm Jumeirah with the Royal Atlantis and Atlantis in the background. The Royal Atlantis is actually a new resort that opened up recently. We were there the other day and it was stunning. It's its own city. It has restaurants, like a mall inside with its own private beach. I would love to do a tour of that for you guys, which hopefully will be coming up soon. So we'll finish the tour up here with the final features. So you have the temperature controlled jacuzzi, the pool, and obviously even better views onto that backdrop here with those royal palm trees. So we'll finish the tour right there of this incredible five-star resort. We hoped you enjoyed the tour as much as we enjoyed touring it for you. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. I'll see you guys next time.